Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and this is Fab with Steph. I have another unboxing. Now this is for my March latest in beauty box. Um, it came a little bit later because I ordered it from the very last drop. Um, so I'm really excited to show you guys what I managed to get this month. I also did the two box thing because I let my mum buy the extra box that you could get 30% off on. And again, I will, I can't speak. <laughs> I sent her a box that I helped pick the items um, and sent them to her in Glasgow. So that was quite nice. I love when Latest in Beauty do those little ad extra add-ons. Talking of extra add-ons, there is gonna be another box unboxing for March for them for me because I did manage to get one of the style drops. So I'm super excited for that to arrive as well. But first things first, let's get this one opened. Um, for anyone who's new to Lidus and Beauty, the quick rundown is it's $12.95 a month. You pay postage on top of that until you're a VIP, which is after three months. If you sign up for um, a contract that's over the three months, they automatically give you it in all months. So it does save you quite a bit of money across the year. Um, and you choose the products. So you choose six products every month. Sometimes they can be all full size products. Sometimes there's like sample ones in there. You can choose from perfumes, makeup tools. Sometimes there's like collagen drinks. Like there's really everything, but I tend to go more for the makeup. Sometimes about skincare. You're about to see when I unbox this. So they have boxed in a way that you can't see what everything is. And I actually really like that. Makes it feel like, do you know those boxes you got when you went to like high school, like funding days or something like that. And it's like the big, what do you even call that? Like a barrel and you would like stick your hand in. It's all the packing peanuts and it'd be like a wrapped gift inside. Maybe no one knows what I'm talking about, but I missed that. So the first item in here is the Inica Living Colour Liquid Glow. Um, I'm going to put the prices next to this because um, I have 100% forgotten, but I know that they were all worth well more than the actual cost of the box. So this on its own is worth more than the cost of the box. So it says it's a liquid glow. I thought this was something you actually put on underneath. Mix into liquid foundation for an all over dewy glow or apply on top to highlight high points of the face. Shake well before use, which I absolutely was about to not do. But give it a little shake. Oh, there's something in there to mix it. So if I just... Ooh. Gotta be careful because I feel like if I'd peeled that too hard, it would have splashed everywhere. This is what the applicator looks like. Oh, okay. I think it's gonna dry down kind of like my Spectra one. So this is what she looks like. Definitely gonna be good as a highlighter. I do think that you could put this under a foundation. Um, you see, I don't know if you can still see that now because I've put it down quite a bit, but it is just like a dewy kind of glow. I think it would mix nicely in. It mattifies, it's already gone quite dry. So just something to be aware of. Might actually give you a bit of a mattifying finish, but with that dewy glow, which would be amazing. It's exactly what I look for, to be honest. So I'm very excited to try that. I will be reviewing it on my Agora. The next item in here is the Inica. Oh, it's attached to me. <laughs> the Inica Living Colour Certified Organic Vegan Lipstick in shade Spring Bloom. I might not swatch this, you know, because I've got a lot that opened. That is chunky. She's chunky. This is the shade. Oh, it's got a wee bit of dust. Well, I hate that. It's just a teeny little bit. This shade looks really pretty. Um, it's exactly what I was looking for, like a pinky nude shade. A lot of my nudes, like even the one I'm wearing now, it's got more of an orangey base and I just wanted one that was pinkier. So I'm very excited to give that a try. The next thing is, it's the same product, but it's a different shade. So it's Sand Dunes. These I'm sure were worth more than the cost of the box on their own as well, but I will again, that is a very, I thought they were a lot more different. I guess that's very, very similar shade. A lot more different. Is that English? <laughs> Apologies, but you know what I mean? I thought they were not going to be as similar as they appear to be. Even from the outside of the box, this one looks kind of purpley. This one looks more like pinky, but this I would have said was more pinky and this is more orangey. Either way, I'm going to have fun with them, not going to lie. And they are vegan, cruelty-free, organic. The last item I got from Inica, which just happens to be the order they came out in. Oh, this has clung to all the dust. It's the Micellar Cleansing Rose Water. I probably wouldn't have got this because I don't really need it, um, but I just was tempted and I quite like the Inica. I've got the eye cream from them. Oh, it definitely smells like rose. Is it fragranced? It does say it's gentle, so hopefully it's not high in fragrance. It actually doesn't have 
there's fragrance listed it seems to be that it's um the oils the natural oils but yeah that's what she looks like i test it on my hand just kind of like you would expect to be honest quite refreshing i'm excited to use that too so this is all it's all for me as we know I don't know how some people manage to get through their skin care so quickly. I've just became like a bit of a hoarder. Oh, so in the... Let's see if I can't get it out. It's all like wrapped inside. I also got this here. So you might recognise this if you've watched my other unboxings from my Agora unboxings. It's the Peely Mask. This is a little 15ml size. The other ones I've got are 50. So this is going to be my travel size. Like I literally got it so that I can target mask me on the go because I'm ever hopeful that at some point in my life we will be able to travel again. And the last item I got was the Polar Northern Light Smoothing Cream with Siberian Olive. I think this is a day cream or at least I hope it is because I have their night one. Oh, this cream is rich in vitamin C and 100% natural salicylic acid, visibly improving the quality of the skin. It will become radiant, smooth, hydrated and protected against pollution. Salicylic acid is great for fighting blemishes. Vitamin C is great for brightening. Um, so, and I like Polar in general, so I I'm excited to try this. Um, probably won't be trying it straight away, but it won't take me too long, to be honest, to be opening this because I am running out of my other vitamin C cream. So this will be a nice little add-on to my current regime. And that is it for this month, um, for this anyway. There is a little 20% off code that seems to be generic that you can use if you'd like for passive evangelists. I might actually take a look at that. It does say it's letterbox friendly, but mine's just quite a narrow letterbox, like not height wise, but sideways. Does that make sense? Um, total value of my box was like, I think it's at least a hundred pounds, but I will total it and put it here as well. Um, I do also have some more exciting unboxings coming up. So not only do I have the style box, I have a few birch box purchases where they have done beauty boxes and collabs with um, Rochelle Humes and they've got their luxury edit, that's on its way as well. I also have my own collaboration edit with Agora called the Zen Edit, which I will be unboxing in the next day or so, all going to plan. So keep a little eye out for that if you're interested. If you like this video, as always, you can give me that thumbs up. I'm sorry to keep asking, but it really does boost my serotonin levels when I see that people have liked my content. So if you did like it, please do that. Um, if you've got any comments, questions, concerns, if you've tried any of the products, if you made different selections, if you made the same selections, I kind of want to hear about it. I'm nosy. If you've got an unboxing, feel free to link it down below as well. I don't mind that at all. Or just tell me you have one and I'll go and check it out because I love seeing what everyone picks, especially if you've swatched things or like have a comment on the scent or the feel, whatever. That makes me really happy. I don't know why, it just works for me. <laughs> if you wanna see more content from me, of course, you can go ahead and hit subscribe as well, but no pressure either way. Um, it's really nice to have you guys back here. I hope that everyone is having a great day and that you're all keeping well. Bye.